Anyone who flies little airplanes fantasizes about things that burn kerosene, and I'm not talking about diesel engines, but jet engines like this Sonics mini jet or a small turboprop. It's a tough design challenge, but an Australian company called Turbero is taking it on. Dave Limmer, the company's CEO, explains the project. The, the design goal of the engine is uh, twofold. One, to be as close to a piston engine as possible with the fuel efficiency, and the second is to be as light and reliable as possible. The 200 horsepower engine is essentially all the aircraft that are here at the show that use a 200 horsepower engine. We'd like to get into the vans, we'd like to get into the stole aircraft, the pushes, velocity, that sort of thing. Everything that takes a, a 200 horsepower engine or thereabouts, we'd like to get it into. The, the turbo prop has two spools. We have a, a gas generator spool uh, that develops the, the, uh, the generates the power, then we have a power turbine that drives the propeller through the gearbox. So, being twin spool, we can optimise our power turbine uh, to give us the best efficiency from the engine. We've undertaken a clean sheet design for our engine and we're incorporating a technology, which is a recuperator technology. That's heat exchange technology, which uh, it has been used in ground-based applications previously. Uh, our challenge has been to take it from the large ground-based size down to a small engine size. And uh, essentially it's heat exchange technology, uh, which preheats the air going into the combustor so that we have to squirt less fuel in to develop the same power of the propeller. The air from the compressor passes through our recuperator, the heat exchanger, and before it enters the combustion chamber. The hot exhaust gas passes through the recuperator, heats the compressor air before it goes into the combustor, uh, thereby raising the temperature going into the combustor. The, uh, the power of the engine essentially is uh, proportional to the temperature of the gas flow through the power generator, uh, through the power turbine, I'm sorry. Um, if uh, traditionally air would go straight into the combustor, let's say at 200 degrees, we need 800 degrees to develop 200 horsepower. When it goes through the recuper recuperator, instead of going or well, entering the combustor at 200 degrees, it enters it at 400 degrees. So we have to squirt in less fuel to raise the temperature to that 800 degrees that we need for the 200 horsepower. That's the basic principle. But depending on the efficiency of the of the recuperator, you can get up to 25% better efficiency over an unrecuperated engine. Uh, for our recuperator, it's a bit of a trade-off between performance, size, weight, and cost. But we have to come up with the best compromise that's going to meet the market demands uh, and our compromise is about a 15 to 20 percent improvement over a non-recuperated engine. The, the design challenges are really around the recuperator technology that we're incorporating. The rest of the engine is quite conventional when it comes to uh, turbine engine design but the recuperator not only do we have to design it to, to be a certain efficiency, size, weight, we're also going to be able to build it and that's the challenge for us as well too. It's got micro channels in it uh, and the technology, 3D printing technology, technology is the technology that's enabled us to be able to build the recuperator now. So that's been the biggest challenge is designing the recuperator not only to perform but to be able to be built. The target weight at the moment we're anticipating about 270 pounds including our accessories. Uh, that's for the prototype engine. We're expecting to do a refinement from the prototype to our production engine and we hope to shave a few pounds off. We, we have over designed the first engine to ensure that the first time we start it, it stays together. Um, after that we can then start refining the design and removing some pounds. We're targeting around about 80 to 85,000 US for the experimental engine, uh, but we still have a long way to go. We've got the testing program to complete, we've got our supply chain to set up, uh, to, uh, set up and we're finding that there's all sorts of issues and variables associated with the supply chain at the moment. We expect to run it towards the end of this year, give or take uh, end of year, and fly it around about mid next year, uh, hopefully to go into production towards the end of next year for deliveries early 2024 alike. People who are interested in our engine can find out more at our website, www.turb.aero. We've also got a Facebook page and uh, we'd welcome you to, uh, to look at the Facebook page. We've also got a forum that we've just started on our website. Uh, it's new, so there's not much on it at the moment, but if people can keep their eyes on those uh, social media outlets, they'll be able to follow us along. Thank you.